Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Artanella Kokoga. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer. We're here at Ciela Gate, trying to save our dear, precious friend Saki from the horrible, evil clutches of the Clastanian army. So we need to go to the Mobius factory to do just that. So let's go on and take a look at this place. How the hell are we going to infiltrate this factory? And not die in the process. Are we inside the Mobius factory? No, this is the outer wall of the gate. We're inside the white wall that protects us from the forces and from the tower. If you walk along the steps of the scaffold, it'll lead to an underground path below the factory. Oh, the outer wall and the Mobius factory are linked together? I never knew that. This, mo this mammoth company practically runs Ciela Gate. The police are their employees. Of course they're connected. But we're in the midst of an enemy nest. We must keep our guards up. Well, truer words were never spoken, Doc. Truer words were never spoken. Welcome to the Mobius Factory, everybody. Another little dungeon we have to go through to get to Saki. Hopefully she's still in one piece. I don't remember what kind of enemies we fight here, though. That is going to be interesting to find out. Let me deal with this. What do we have? You won't interrupt us. What enemies do we have? I, I hate the fact that I can't see. I had to do this. Advanced RT. Okay. Oh, okay, RT Ravitail. Dead doy. That makes sense. Ow. Ooh! You motherfucker, you dodged me! I was ready to drill you and everything too, giggity goo. God damn it. Uh, okay, now I can finally show this feature off. You might have just seen that flash on the screen. If you press the select button, it'll actually ping locations on your map, your, your field map, where you can walk to if there are doors leading to other areas. It's somewhat useful now, but it will be extremely useful later in the game in a very particular area. When we get there, I will definitely make mention of it then. Oh my god, what the hell are you? An H-01. Oh dear. Ow. I am not letting you attack me. Oh jeez, Alto is not doing too hot. Uh, give me a bit more healing. That would be lovely, because I'm coming back here to heal. I can just sit here and recover HP. I think, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, how are you guys holding up? How, 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 about, how about them heals, yo? How about them heals? Uh, you could probably murder this thing now, actually, Fennel. Go for it. Yeah, I was about to say, you probably have way, way, way more than enough burst to actually murder that thing's face. Which works for me. Uh, there, I believe, is another door over here. I, I saw it briefly, I think. Right, right here. Yep, 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 right here. Is there treasure on the other end of this door, is the question. Also, I think fighting everything I can right now is probably not a bad idea. Especially considering we can murder everything pretty quickly. Alright, what is through the door? Aha! I was right to come this way. What is this? Anatomy of the heart. Okay, that's something for the good doctor. Why do I feel like I'm going the wrong way? Well, not necessarily the wrong way. It's technically the right way. I don't want to go the right way. I want to be able to collect all the treasure I can. You know, one thing I will say about the game that I actually do like... I actually do like the the backgrounds for the battles. They do kind of change. They, they keep it relatively consistent depending on the area that you're actually in. And I kind of like that. They're not exactly like, you know, the super most super detailed battle backgrounds you can ever find in a game, but they are pretty nice. Um, oh God, now I feel like I have to go back the other way. Let's just check through this door real quick. What are, what are we looking at in here? Yeah, this looks to me like the way I'm supposed to go. We should probably just double back and go back down again. God damn it. <laughs> oh, this game. I... <laughs> You get lost pretty easily in some of these places. 
well, I mean, these these places are relatively straightforward. Like, this isn't too difficult to navigate, per se. You don't get lost navigating. That's not till later in the game. But what does kind of get you confused is kind of having that... You know how you have, like, Explorer's Instinct? You play enough of these games, you can kind of tell, like, oh, this path... This path is going to take me to treasure. This path is... Oh, no, you fucking don't. This path is going to take me to where I need to go. And th this game, some of those paths are just not exactly the most straightforward. How about it? Can we murder anything here? No, I don't think so. Not yet. We're going to have to kill you first. I think we're doing poison damage now or something. Something along those lines. I, I think that should be enough. I think. Actually, I could be completely wrong about that. Weren't we at like 13,000? And I did 4,000? Oh, I think that... Oh, it's just too little. <laughs> just too little. That's fine, though. That's totally fine. Though, I think uh, we need some healing after that fight. Whew, they pounded on me quite a lot. You also might have noticed that healing items are not exactly too hard to come by. We keep getting these heal alphas like freaking candy after every single battle we fight so <laughs> fighting enemies is also a decent way to heal your party not even gonna lie oh there was no other way son of a bitch i thought there was another way to go god damn it i just wasted time that's what i get i i didn't really look around the area when i went through that door i just kind of looked for boxes i'm like oh no there's no boxes down here i, I thought maybe there's a ladder or something Oh, well, it just means we get to run down the enemy gauge a little bit more. I do recommend uh, fighting. The first time you're in an area, definitely fight at least once to get the gauge down to zero. And then you usually shouldn't have to worry about levels for the, for the rest of the let's play. Uh, or or the, ga the gameplay that you're playing. <laughs> I'm the one let's playing, goddammit. My mind is everywhere. I've had one hell of a long day today. Not bad at all. We because we're still getting so much experience. We're we're growing levels like crazy. Also, I have I don't have concrete evidence, but I do definitely feel like that this game in the series, compared to the first and the second, especially at the second, I think, this might be the shortest game in the series. Relatively quick, I by looking at my old save files, and th those are from years ago, mind you. Uh, a full playthrough of the game. Took me about 46 hours, which I feel like is so, so little time compared to. Somebody, oh, I thought somebody ran back. It's so little time compared to how much time I spent on your fucking running back. I don't think I don't see you there. How about it? Can we, can we murder you or stun you at least? I need to murder you. The stun though. A full playthrough of this game only took me 30 or 46 hours back in the day. So I do feel like this game is a bit on the short side. I think that's because they do tend to kind of rush the plot a little bit. Like this has been non-stop action. This is like great. Because there's like no waste of time. You don't have to spend too much time like grinding or anything like that. I should probably perch. You don't have to waste time grinding, not usually. You don't have to waste too much time uh, doing silly things. There really is no side quest to mention up in this game, for the most part, other than the Cosmospheres. The Cosmospheres is about as far as it goes in terms of side content during the actual game. For the most part, I think there might be a few things you can do. But there's not much. Uh, this is just me trying to remember all this off the top of my head. Uh, oh, wait, no, I already went this way. Uh, this is just me trying to remember all the stuff off the top of my head, but I'm relatively certain there's not much to do in side quests. So that's probably why the game is so short, uh, at least in comparison, because I'm pretty sure uh, the first game was at least a 60-hour playthrough, 
And the second game, holy crap, I, I spent e easily 80 plus hours in that game. Because there's so many side quests to do in that game. I think the first game also didn't have any side quests, but the game also tended to have a slower plot. This is like super fucking fast. We already have the full team. We already have two Raven Tails, albeit they're coming in and out of the party at the moment, like they do in these games. But we already have the full, practically the full team, and it, it's it's just going crazy. This is already episode what I think like thirteen. This is gonna be episode thirteen, and we're already coming up to the end of phase one. And there are five phases to the game, but they all go relatively quickly. If if I were to play, let me go with this. What is it? If if I were to this over hit with. each end of the phase in roughly. 15 episodes each, about, then with with the five episodes, that would literally only be about like an 80 part, so uh, roughly, give or take, give or take, and that is surprisingly short, especially for a full length RPG, which this is a full length RPG. So you're definitely not going to be getting much in terms of total playtime on this game, but the game is very nice. It's got some really kooky stuff in it, but the whole lore and the and the plot and how this game's plot ties into the other two games that preceded it is very, very satisfying. Uh, at least in, in my opinion. I mean, you could have a totally different opinion, but th this is how I feel. Because I know a lot of people are talking about... What is it? Uh, about the craziness of the plot. How the, how the Raven Tales seem to be getting stupider and stupider with each game. And, you know, to be fair, I do think there is some merit in that. There, there's definitely some truth in that statement. But I think that's just because of the games became... How I figured the Artinelico series kind of evolved was definitely more as a... What is it? The first game was definitely more of a legitimate attempt at making an RPG. And then after the first game came out, they realized that only the... It was really kind of fitting into this niche sort of market. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. But that niche kind of caters to certain fans, if you know what I mean. Hence the fan service, which is already pretty substantial in the first game. It was more of just innuendo. How the fan service has evolved, if I just give a quick analysis of it, how the fan service has evolved is it was just basically really subtle and mostly innuendo in the first game, and then it became blatant innuendo and relatively subtle sort of head turns that you kind of do. You're kind of like, huh, I think think they're doing this over here like oh Jesus Christ especially with the Cosmospheres oh god those have always been really fan servicey but they're kind of meant to be and then the third game is just fucking blatant blatant fan service like yeah we know why you're playing this game <laughs> it's pretty much <laughs> plot who needs plot uh, but th that's just kind of how I see it I have no clue where I'm going now I'm just kind of wandering around oh there's a safe point here but that's just kind of how the series evolved in terms of the fan service, I think, over the years. Artinelico 1 was definitely a, a legitimate attempt at making a, a, a silly but serious go at, um, at an RPG. And then they realized that didn't really work, but they really hit it hard with the niche. And then Artinelico 2... With, uh, Artinelico 2 was what it was, and then they realized that we just gotta go balls to the walls with this shit. Here, this is the Mobius factory. Saki, please be safe. Oh, well, looks like we actually made it into the inner workings of the factory. But yeah, they, they just realized they had to go balls to the wall. And that is exactly what they did with Koga. <laughs> that is totally what they did with Koga. Shit, what a persistent roach. It's high time you surrendered! We're warning you to come out! Who would come out just because you told them to? If you want me, why don't you break down the door and drag me out? Jesus, Ken, I don't know why you're in this game, but God, just spear them already. Was that Katine's voice? <laughs> it's even greater because he has a name that is similar to Ken. Katine? Hey, Doc, is he an old friend of yours? 
How to? You're too loud, stupid. Wait, what? Oh shit! Who are you guys? What are you doing here? Uh, uh, housekeeping? Housekeeping? Damn! Now we gotta fight. Oh well, shit! I tried. You're hopelessly boo. What? What is with your verbal tick? He's making me scratch my head, dude. Let me deal with this. Okay, time to fight. Don't push too hard. What are we fighting? A uh, couple of light Raven Tails type ones. Eh, it's nothing we haven't fought already. Right? No, 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 I see you going back there. Don't think I don't. What the frick are you doing? No, we're catching you right now. I think we can actually murder them with this. I, I think. Maybe we had to wait till he's over a thousand. I think they killed one. Yeah, that killed the Ravitail. Okay, Alright, well now that that distraction's been taken care of. Yo, Katine! Is that you, Katine? Are you in there? Huh? Gojo? Hold on. I'll open the door for you. I'm glad you're safe. Did you get hurt? I'm all right. Just a bit surprised. Why are you here? Did you switch sides to Plastania? <laughs> over my dead body. Of course not. I heard they took over this place, so I was worried. So, Doc, this is... Yeah, he's an old friend of mine. His name is Katine. How do you do? Thank you for knocking them out. I don't know how much longer I could have held out. You saved me. <laughs> Wait a minute. Knock them out? Didn't we just murder their faces? We didn't knock them out. We speared them. We speared them with a goddamn drill sword, a freaking hoverboard, and lasered them to death with a medical bag. Oh, Japan. Japan at its finest, and you knocked them out. It makes me think of the goddamn Pokemon memes of like a goddamn level 100 Gyarados hyper beaming the ever living shit out of a Pidgey, and then it just Pidgey fainted. Like, what the hell? Makes no sense. No. Oh. Well, you're well. <laughs> Not fainted. Pidgey done got its ass cooked. Its goose, its fucking pigeon ass is now a freaking dinner item. So, Thanksgiving Jojo, came early. Why did you come here? You didn't come all this way with your present company to save me, did you? Well, that's... I'm looking for a Ravitail. She was abducted, and we think they may have brought her here. A Ravitail? Could that...? Huh? The other day, I heard a rumor that a Ravitail was taken to a room farther down from here. It could be her. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory! Okay, so we, we found her. That's gotta be it! Can you please take us there? Yeah, if you know the way, show me the way. Sure. I can't deny a request from the person who saved my life. Please, follow me. I'll take you there right now. Sweet, you're actually really helpful. I like you, Katine. I like the cut of your jib. Even if your glasses are kind of funny looking. But please don't make any noise. All right. First, we'll make a right at the corner. Oh, shit. We're fucked. <laughs> don't make any noise. Auto's gonna fuck this up royally. Uh, the one thing I do want to do, though, is I'm... Yes, I want to check these rooms. Because we got a speed needle! Oh, goody gumdrops! We're going to be shooting up drugs now in this playthrough. Because there is loot to be had in these rooms. An R1 solvent. And that is all that's in here. What about further down? Because, yeah, there's more here, more rooms. Oh, hello. Don't think I don't see you. A criticoil! Okay, that door is locked. There's nothing we can do there. I also feel like there's more loot to be had in the uh, the Mobius factory, so I might come back here uh, on my own time at some other point. See if I can loot the rest of this place. Make a right. Okay, so we need to make a right. I'm going to go straight. Never mind. The door is locked. The game likes to toy with me. Yoink. Iron material. Is this it? Oh, that definitely looks like it. Uh oh, where the hell did you two come from? You that room. You were there before. All right, there's no point in hesitating now. Let's bust on in. 
God damn it. Let me deal with this. It was friggin' Raven Tail Houdini'd me. They're coming to us. Just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't think I'm gonna let you do that. Oh, we probably just finish this fight physically. What, the, what do you think you're going? Eat my drill! Let me drill you, goddammit. Oh, the innuendos make themselves in this game. Ah! God damn it. Saki, wake up! What did I say? Oh, nothing. She must have been tranquilized. Let's get her dressed. Get her dressed? What? She's already dressed. Mm -hmm. Saki, hey, are you alright? We found you. Are you alright? Man. Saki. Saki believed that you were coming to rescue me. Thank you. You really did come and save me. Saki. Alright, there's no sense in sticking around. Let's get out of here. Yeah, easier said than done, though. If these enemies can just appear out of thin air, where the hell do we go? Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. The alarm's going off. They found us. God damn it. Do we have to move to the bottom platform now? Can we really escape? Oh, wait, no. That, that's a different game. No need to worry. Uh, Miss Saki, was it? Would you please lend me your hand? Huh? You want me? Come this way. I can barely hear them over the goddamn blaring alarms. I mean, I guess it's pretty realistic, but still. Alright, you two. Let me deal with this. It's time for you to get a nice Shall face full of Auto. Eat my drill. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you back over here? I'm coming for you, Miss Prissy, standing all the way over there by herself. Jesus Christ. The goddamn thing. Whoa, I heard a whoosh. Ha! I guess somebody just followed me on Twitch. Okay, we're safe for now. I'll brief you on our strategy. <laughs> I can never tell if those if those notifications actually become audible <laughs> in the goddamn in the goddamn uh uh, uh game. <laughs> never know until I actually listen back to it. Oh yeah. You said you were gonna need Saki's help. What are you gonna make her do? I need her to download this hymn crystal and sing the song. What? Download hymn crystal? Wait, I've played this game before. Katine, what is this crystal? It's our secret weapon. The ignition key to operate the DFP. The, the DFP? No. What, what, what the fuck's a DFP? <laughs> DFP? You mean the die tail wave flare pulse? Oh, okay. Th that's the DFP. Huh? How the hell did you come up with that name? <laughs> That's what I want to know, too. It torrents a tremendous amount of energy that temporarily interferes with every symphonic-related system. In other words, it'll stop everything that deals with symphonic power. Airships, Ravitales, you name it. Oh, interesting. So basically, it's like an EMP for the symphonic power. That's very interesting. Symphonic power is something that only the towers of Artanelico can generate. It's what Ravitales use to sing their song magic. It's also apparently what the Clistanians use to, you know, fly their goddamn weird battleships. I've never seen a flat battleship before. Then won't Saki stop as well? I'll have to put a silencer on her. That way she won't be affected by it. Wait, are you sure she'll be fine? Of course. As long as she's equipped with a silencer, she won't stop. But this will be the first time I've operated the DFP, so I'm a bit concerned that there may be a few bugs. A few bugs, huh? How bad could they be? Oh! What? But if we're successful, not only will we escape, we'll also recapture Ciela Gate. We have to try wait, it. Wait, what? Really? Oh shit. Okay, wait, no, that just rose the stakes a bit. Uh I guess we got to do it. But, but Saki, 
do it. Well, she's all for it, at least. But... It's all Saki's fault the Great Fang was occupied by Costania. If this will help them, please let me do it! Okay, I, I think we will. Saki. All right, now that that's decided, let's get started before they catch up to us. Miss Saki, please take this crystal. Uh, all right. Let's begin. Okay, let's let's start a download. Are you ready? Please relax. First download of the game. Y yes. Was Yerichis Hymnos Yor? Enchis Fra Fra Yor. Exec Drone Hymnos EP Nova. Enter Sakia Behu Tyria Harvestasha. The download is finished. The device is on the top floor of the symphonic power unit. Let's go now. Oh shit. Uh, what the hell is going on? Seems they've sensed our activity. All right. We'll hold them off. Nothing to it. Let's kill some more Let bots and baddies. Well, fiddle fights with us. Get this over with. Hey, we can change the move around. I think we'll have to switch Saki back out in front. Because it just seems highly appropriate for the situation. One, two, three. Take this. Blow it up for me, Finnell. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> Literally like 100 damage too shy. God damn it. No, that's fine. Close enough. I do hate that we don't get experience for these goddamn damn. This is never gonna end. story event fights, including boss battles. That is really annoying. More fighting is just a waste of time. We have to advance. Then again, I do think that's why they probably made leveling up so easy in this game compared to the others. Because it is definitely very easy. As long as you fight every encounter that you come across in the game, you gain experience like crazy. That was close. Now the DFP device is farther up. If we can climb the stairs, then luck is on our side. Let's proceed. All right, we'll listen to the small person. Saki has joined the party at long last, and we still don't have any encounters. What the hell? Why, what, what is this? It looks like a giant turbine. This is the energy plant that boosts, uh, boasts the highest energy absorption rate in the world that our Mobius factory takes pride in. We can positively tell you that this humongous disc, the Wide Range Proliferation Symphonic Power Absorption Disc, is the best in the modern world. Oh, so this is actually just the, the part of this whole huge spinny thing in the background. Holy crap, that is big. If you take a look at the history of humanity, admittedly the strongest symphonic power absorption faculty, Musherial, is far ahead of us, but this one? Katine, please give us the whole lecture later. We don't have time now. We must hurry or they'll catch us. Oh, sorry. I got too into my own world again. All right, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Let's move on, all right. Uh, do you understand Talk Topic? With uh, Saki. We haven't had some Talk Topics with Saki in a while. Let's go talk to her. Oh, geez, we have quite a bit. Akira. Mr. Kira passed away at that place called Paper Scissors. Oh, that's right. She hasn't been Saki since before we went back to our hometown the first time. She was Sarapatra at that point. So it has been actually quite a while since we've had Saki, Saki herself, in the party. Yeah, did you remember something? No, I can't remember anything. He saved my life at the cost of his own life, but I... Saki, you came from Ogai, right? Yes, I did. Were you alone all the way to Blue Canyon Hamlet? Well... I think someone was with me. Can you remember his or her face? I'm sorry. I can't. I see. Well, there's no use in rushing. Take your time to remember it. Auto, what are my other personae like? You said you would summon them on behalf of me, right? Um, I think Sarapatra, was it? I want to know what kind of person Sarapatra is. 
Sarapatra? She's more like a woman at an older age. Is she pretty? Well, of course. You're so cute. Don't you think your other persona should be as well? C cute? Oh my god, is you said I'm cute. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, g get over it. <laughs> when I first met Sarapatra, I was startled. She tried to kiss me all of a sudden. What? N no, forget that. W well, that's what she's like. Aoto, you're blushing. <laughs> uh, somebody a little jealous? By the way, did you did you understand Katine's story? Are you talking about the proliferation something? It was called an energy proliferation adhesive disc, I think. You remembered all that? It was impressive. Yeah, actually, it is kind of impressive. He tried so hard to explain it to us, so I repeated it over and over in my head so I wouldn't forget. The least I should do was remember the name. I think that's amazing enough. But I couldn't understand the explanation itself at all. Ah, he was talking about energy in a sucking disc, right? In some place called Musherio. It's something like... It gathers energy and boom! That's the kind of machine it is, I think. I see. I didn't know that's what it does. I know. At least that's what I heard. Probably. <laughs> Just, uh, I think. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to reconcile with the villagers. Yeah, I'm relieved too. It would have been sad if I lost my hometown like that. But I didn't think they would apologize to me so seriously. I know. Plus, I was the one who actually caused this whole mess. No, the Clistanians are to blame. I can't believe they not only abducted you, but they deceived the people in the hamlet. Auto. Anyway, I should rejoice in the fact that I was able to go back to my hometown rather than be mad. That is a good point. He is absolutely true. It is a good thing he was able to go back and resolve all that crap. Because that would have been rather crappy if he couldn't resolve that crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, well, <laughs> anyway, enough of my crappy commentary. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to go check me out on Twitter as well as my Patreon page and my Twitch page. You know, uh, you can pledge to me on Patreon, Patreon. You can become a subscriber on Twitch, get access to emotes, all sorts of cool stuff. Um... That will, you can use in the chat for streams, as well as my Patreon page, a dollar a month. It goes a very long way to help keep the channel alive. So uh, that is all for my spiel. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. I will see you guys in the next video, where we will go use Saki's new hymn, Exit Nova. Is it Exit Nova or Exit Cosmo Flips Nova? I forget. I'll have to look that up later, too. And we'll use that hymn to stop whatever this madness is going on. So thanks all for watching. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys next time.